She's just lovely. How pretty your hair is, darling. I sometimes wonder where she got her colour in, but I never knew her parents. No? No. My mother was an old friend of Tim's, but I never met either of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the time? We, we mustn't hold you up. You think I'm taking too much of an interest in Marigold? It's Margie. She thinks I'm there too often. Because you've got a crush on me. Well, that's better than the real reason. The real reason's a good reason to love a child, milady. I'm sorry, milady. I'm afraid it's not convenient just now. I, I only want a moment. As I said, it's not convenient. What's this? I don't want her to come in. Well, there's no need to be rude. Of course not. Well, she's not coming in, and that's flat. I'm trying to bring her around, but I wish she hadn't jumped the gun. I know, but I had some bad news today, and I needed to see her. You mean you were right about Marigold's father? I'm very sorry to hear it, but if you could just give me some time. I don't have time, Mr. Drew. You see, I'm going away. I didn't know that. No, well, I haven't told anybody. I don't understand. You don't have to. But when they get back, tell them my mind was made up and I wasn't hysterical or anything. And give them my love. Oh, God, Edith. Won't you wait and talk to them about it? If I talk to anyone, it'll be you. Then talk to me, please. I can't. It's lunacy. You've lost your mind. Tell her. It's true. Marigold's a daughter. It's a lie. I don't know what she's holding over you, but you can't let her get away with it. I have a copy of her birth certificate. It's in French, but you can read my name clearly enough. Which was brave of you. My aunt wanted me to use a false one, but I knew I might need proof. Give that to me. I have others. You've cooked this up between you. That's enough. We've nothing formal that gives us any claim over her. Only a note from a dying father. Which I wronged. How could you do this? I'm your wife. Yet you have lied and cheated and used me shamefully. If you'd have taken a mistress, she couldn't have been more false. Mrs. Drew, I know you don't want to hear this, but I'm very grateful. No, I don't bloody want to hear it. Such a thing. I will not. Then don't. No! 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 Oh, baby, no! Oh, wait! Just wait, wait! Wait. <laughs> Shall not sleep, else. Don't be afraid, my darling. This nice lady is your new mummy. She loves you more than anyone else could. But don't you forget that we love you too. <laughs> They'll bring a cup for the young and madam. Just ring down if there's anything else. I will do. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're together, darling. And I know it's not ideal, but it's such an improvement on being apart. Did you both know? Mrs. Drew told me Rosamond knew you went to see the child with Edith. Yes, and you never thought to tell me that I have a third grandchild. Edith didn't want me to. I suppose this makes sense of that bewildering trip to Switzerland. But what else was I to do? She wouldn't get rid of it. Get rid of it? It was her idea. But she wouldn't go through with it in the end. And what did you know? Well, not quite as much. I knew why they were in Switzerland. I thought she'd left the baby there. And that was the idea. Edith didn't stick to it. And you never thought to involve me, her own mother. 
You, Rosamond, you looked at that little girl and you never thought it was my business too? We, we wanted to contain it, to make as little noise abroad as possible. So what changed? What tipped her over the edge and into running away? Well, I suppose we all knew Mr. Gregson was dead, but the confirmation must have been very upsetting. And Mrs. Drew was being difficult. Mm -hmm. Clearly, the child couldn't stay there indefinitely. So we thought... What did you think? That it would be better and safer if the girl was sent abroad. Well, now we have it. Edith was told her child would be taken away. Are you going to say anything to Robert? No. I agree with one thing. The secret is not ours to tell. Somehow we must find Edith. And we must hear from her what she wants. Do you want to see her? No. It would not be enough. You've told her, haven't you? You've broken your word. No. I... Mrs. Drew came to the house. What did she want? She felt you had used her badly. I confess it was a feeling we shared. I'm not coming back, you know. Let's not talk about it here. Come to me for dinner. No. Very well, then. We'll discuss it now in front of your new employees and give them something to chew on. Where's Marigold now? The hotel arranges a babysitter when you need one. May I see her? I don't think so. Not tonight. So what are you going to do? I was toying for a while with the idea of going to America. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why is that ridiculous? She's half American, isn't she? I thought I'd drop my title and invent a dead husband. Then I'd be Mrs. Thing in Detroit or Chicago, where I wouldn't run into anyone I knew. So is that your plan? I don't want the magazine business to fall into ruin. How could I keep an eye on it overseas? And I would like Marigold to grow up English. And what is the alternative? An invented dead husband here. I'd never get away with it in London. I thought I'd make her my orphan godchild. Well, I have a different plan. I'd like you to bring her home. No. I won't be the county failure. Poor, demented Lady Edith who lost her virtue and her reason. Just listen to my plan. The Drews would reach a reluctant conclusion that they can't afford to raise their friend's child. You've grown so fond of the girl, you ask if she might join the others in the Downton nursery. Well, the Drew plan was mad enough. But this is completely ludicrous. How could it possibly work? Papa must never know the truth. I've thought about it. I don't agree. While it would take time for him to get used to the idea, I believe he would make it. No. He'd never look at me in the same way again. Very well. They simply can't afford another child. And there aren't any prior claims? Apparently not. That's why they took her in the first place. What did I asked them to bring him down early. Hello, Daddy. Come to Mama, darling. Hello, my darling. So, how should I answer? What's this about? The child at the Drew's house. Uh, it, it seems idiotic to me. And me. What about if you want to start a family of your own? But I dote on her. If they send her to some horrid orphanage, I'd never forgive myself. But can't you just give them some money so they can keep her? I think Mrs. Drew finds it too much. It isn't only the money. It seems a bit feeble. Does it? Looking at these two. <laughs> so should I take her? Papa. Uh, I, I leave it to your mother. Well? I believe we should offer little Marigold a home here. Do you really, darling? Well, then, uh, I suppose that's settled. <laughs> <laughs>